Three years ago today, I entered my first ever bass fishing tournament in Maine, the annual Scudic Smallmouth Derby. It went a little something like this. It's a unit. Let's go! Woo! Let's go, baby! That's it. Back to the way in. We got 10 minutes to make it there. Are we DQ'd? 1640. Ended up being three minutes late, and uh, for every minute that you're late, it's a pound. It's a literal smallmouth. Yeah. Not only did we not win, but we came in three minutes late to the weigh-in, which resulted in a whole three pounds off our seven fish limit. That's like taking the biggest fish from our live hole and just tossing it overboard. Saddened and deflated, we trekked back home with our empty wallets in trophyless hands. The year following, my partner Connor and I re-entered the annual Scudic Derby to see if we could finally bring home the win. Within the first few hours of casting, things were looking up. Bass were biting, and we had ourselves a solid and saucy seven fish limit. Once we acquired our smally sack, we headed to the weigh-in, only to find that our two biggest fish were dead. Which sucks as is, but sucks even more that our dead fish penalty knocked us down a half pound and kicked us out of the money spot yet again. Now that I've caught you up on the Scudic Smallmouth Derby saga, let's open up a new chapter and attempt once more to bring home the hardware and get the dub once and for all. We've made it. T minus one hour until we get things kicked off. It is derby time. Hard to see a couple boats dropping in. <sighs> Let's get a little redemption. Uh, I just need to check over the underside of the boat for any milk foil or anything like that. Sure. Let's say that you have any, but you just gotta do it. And Sounds good. After that, you'll be all set by. Cool, thanks. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull up, though. Pull up? Yep. Right now? Gotcha. I'll keep this. Nope, I'll take that. Yeah, you got and it. You take that. Cool. All set? Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, oh. take that. And then you can, you can float in your boat if you want to stay close. We'll do the rules meeting. Uh, absolutely. Thank you, guys. We're uh, boat number one. No. 26. <laughs> it's not bad. Uh, I think 27 boats. Yeah, so. At least we're not in the tiller. At least we're not in the tiller. Oh, my gosh. We got 33. <laughs> Words cannot simply describe how excited I am right now. It is, what annual tournament is this? Is this the 10th? Is, is, we're at the fifth annual Scudic, stop! <laughs> it's so funny, this is serious. We are at the fifth annual Scudic Smallmouth Bass Derby. This is the third time I fished this. The first time I came in three minutes late, I lost three pounds of fish. I lost a whole three pounder. The second time Connor and I fished together, we accidentally killed three fish. So we lost a ton of weight. This time, show them what you got there. We got the catch and release. Connor has brought himself a needle, which I believe he got from a guy at a gas station this morning. There we go. We got a fizzer and we have a 250 Merc on the back. No 90 horsepower tiller. So we are gonna keep those fish alive. We're gonna cook back. This is exciting. It's a big turnout, 30 boats. Basically, this is a story of an angler, a couple of anglers, who have time and time again been shafted from getting first place. We're out for blood this time. As you can tell, we're taking this very seriously. It's gonna be a smallmouth only derby, seven fish limit, doing it the old main way, quite the competition. We are boat number 26. The conditions are beautiful. Connor, let's, do it. let's get that hardware, cuz. Oh, yeah. Let's get that check. Let's go back to back. Back to back. Throwing ones on them smallies. I'd be tossing them blue face hundreds on them smallies. Run up a check. Twenty-six, let's go. Let's go. A lot. Hang on to your wieners. Alrighty. Come on, I gotta throw. Probably the same sh always do. A little late on getting the rods out today, bud. Jeez. Oh, 
Oh, look, those are, that's a nice one. He's going right down on you. That's a good one. Missed him? Little guy. What the f Sorry, we just got each other. Oh, wow, that's not good. Oh, wow, that's really not good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Quite the start, gang. Should we just cut that whole f thing? That is rough. Oh, and of course, there's an absolute pig out there. That kind of like makes sense for how we were looking this morning with the glasses. Here's what we're going to do with this. You take your rod and I'll take my rod and we'll throw it in the lake together. That is the most fucking... <laughs> just, dude, just break the scissors out. It's, that's a goner. Okay, cool. So I, I'm still, oh, pff, nice. Good start. Going right over his head. Oh, not really, kind of missed him. This one might be, yeah, that'll probably help us. Oh my God, it's not even a, it's a lake trout. <laughs> I could never catch one of these things, like just messing around. I was like, yeah, that's, those are some weird head shakes for a smallmouth. Not too many bass tournaments I've fished where uh, I accidentally catch a lake trout. Wrong species, but kind of a cool little catch. Every time I try to come out here and actually catch these lake trout, I can't do it. But now that we're fishing a small derby, of course, I've got a lake trout. Great eating. Going back in the water. Dummy. What is the water temp usually during these derbies? This is the hottest. The warmest I've seen it, which is weird. Yeah. Oh my god, he instantly heard that. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Not a giant, but we'll take him. Let's do your side. He's not a giant, but we'll take him. Spitting up a bunch of food. Whew. Well, it is our first fish of the day. It has been an exceptionally gnarly grind out here, but we have our first key for hopefully this is a fish we call. We definitely need like seven three pounders this is a high two i'm gonna put them in the box let's see i'm gonna this one's gonna be number lucky number seven small side she goes this morning we had an interesting start i guess we're sharing the spot is that what's going on here <clears throat> like holy shit, dude if that were us doing to someone else <clears throat> those young guys have no respect we were fishing a spot that was absolutely loaded with giants, which is, by the way, right here now. And uh, some, a couple of fine and sweet and tender gentlemen snuck right in on us. I, they were so close that I was getting interference with my graph from their pinger, from their 360. So uh, it was weird. Uh, there's a lot of big fish there, and they're back on that spot, and as are we. So things might get a little awkward regardless. The good news is we got a fish in the box. We need six more. And really, we need seven more. That fish needs to get out of there. Let's go get some three pounders. It's an absolute grind out here. It's freaking 9 a.m. and we just now got our first fish. <sighs> Struggle. Let me try something real quick. Let me get over one head. Every time that bait hits the water, that's when they check it out. So I wonder if maybe, I don't know. There's one, okay, I'm gonna try it. No way. He's right under it. Let's pop her on us. No way. It's a good one too. You just gotta keep trying cool shit, dude. <laughs> I mean, I was like, this might be really dumb, but let's try it. 25 feet of water. 25 feet of water popper fish. Might go three. But still, I mean. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Oh yeah, it might go three. All right, tying a little popper. <laughs> dude, how weird is this? So. This is a testament as to why you have to mess around with different tactics. We're right behind our, our best friends right here, which cut us off in the morning. Really, really uh, cool dudes that cut us off this morning. Those guys out there, hoping they can hear us because they're pretty close. Anyway, we're behind them and you know, we're fishing behind them right now. I'm thinking to myself, they're probably throwing the exact same thing we are. They're probably throwing freaking, you know, drop shots and single swimmers. And those are great techniques if the smallmouth haven't seen them all day. So I noticed that when I was throwing my swim bait in the water, what would get them to check the bait out was the initial splash. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, what else makes a good splash is a popper. 30 feet of water, I threw that popper first cast uh, over a fish that I saw in live scope. And uh, he came out of basically 24 all the way up to the surface to crush this thing. So hopefully we can actually pattern this because these fish really don't want uh, what we're throwing, but we might've figured something out. 
That was crazy. <laughs> that was nuts, dude. Slaughtered it. Slaughtered it. What number was that? I don't know. We got two fish. Let's go. All right, let's see what happens here. I wish there was a little bit more. Oh, he ate it. I wasn't paying attention, dude. I'm looking at live scope. Okay, this is crazy. I don't know if I should do fast. Good one, giant. 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 Popper in 30 feet, baby. Let's go. I got you. We got plenty of. We've got plenty of poppers, my my man's. Oh, that's a good one, man. Oh, that's a good one. Put him in the net. Let's go. You sure about that? You sure you're catching him on the swimmer? You sure about that? Oh, I don't care. I'll put it right in my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna put him on big. Where they wouldn't even jerk. No. Wouldn't even touch it. Wouldn't even touch a jerk bait. Charge it, but not eat it. That might not be a bad idea to throw behind these fish. Because yeah. they were charging. They just weren't. Oh my gosh. Giant. 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 It's so wild. I know. Just gotta keep it going. It's a good fish. You gotta get it. It's a real big one. Just pop. Oh. I did not have him good. It looks like it now. It's all good. Keep going. Right here. It's a big one. There you go. Ready? Net me, net me, net me. Yeah. Stop jumping, man. Do the net. Oh, come on. Hey, give me some nuckies, bro. Let's go. Come on. Hey, man. Hey, man. That's good stuff, dude. Ain't nothing better than Babe Ruth and a fish. Actually, I can think of one thing better than Babe Ruth and a fish is Babe Ruth and a fish with a popper in 20 feet of water surrounded by a bunch of other boats that are picking their wieners and getting snagged. Let's go. All we need is eight more fish for a limit. Seem to be a little bit more aggressive in groups. Here we go. Oh, I missed it. Got him. Nope, got him. Giant. He just nipped it. Two. How are they doing? God, that was insane, bro. That was insane. I'm right here. I got six pound test model on, dude. I gotta be careful. I gotta be super careful. I'm right here. Come get me. Come get me. Oh boy, she's barely. Break it? Yeah, I shouldn't have said anything about the mono. I needed that spook too. Oh. It's okay. Keep fishing. Dude. About to get hit. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Not a bad one. We'll take him. I think we just need to both keep throwing it, man. I don't know. It's all they want. Even blind cast. Of course, got that one hooked real well. 12 pound test, so I can horse him in a little bit better. Yeah, it's not a big one at all. We'll take him, though. Put him in the line, We are. I believe two away from a limit. And what sucks is I lost two nice fish today that would have really helped us out. But we figured out the pattern. What in the is going on here? I got freaking mono all up my ass. <gasps> Blooper, they're crushing it. Not a big one, but let's put them in the box regardless. Big one's coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Good, good one, good one, good one, good one, good one. Good one. Giant, net me, net me, dude. Stop that sh Stop that sh Man, I hate when they do that. You got him. Nice, thank you. Finally got a good one. Hey, man, just throw that popper. I'm telling you, it's boring as f 
but they're good ones. And it's the only thing we can get a damn bite on right now. Number six, this is crazy, man. The only thing we can really get them to engage on is a popper. And well, I'm not complaining. Too many fish in that box right now. Let's keep eating. Oh, he was checking it out. Oh, he might still eat. No way. Oh, did you see that? Look at the wake under it. He's, he just kissed it. I got him. Another one. Yeah, nice one, dude. Nice one, nice one, nice one. So what if I... Dude, he just kissed it. Did you get that kill? That was insane. Please stay on, darling. Please stay on. It's a good one. It's a good one, man. I literally just... I just flipped the freaking popper at him. Please stay on. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. It's a good fish. Another three pounder. Take him. Another three pounder. That's that's our limit right there. Oh, find out here's mine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It'll call for sure. That's a good one, man. That'll call for us. That'll definitely call. Just a lonesome little dragonfly eater out there in the abyss. It's all good. You got him. Nice. Thanks, man. Of course, this one gets hooked so well, but my four pounder barely hooked. All right, we got him. <clears throat> chill, 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 chill. Okay. All right, well, we just got a nice one. This is going to help our call. Not a three pounder, but it is a good fish. This is our smallest. We're getting rid of him. Thank you, little dude. Put some keep alive in there. He just got hooked in the gill pretty bad. Of course, the freaking two pounders get hooked super good and then the five pounders and the four pounders come ding, right off. It's weird. You guys are probably wondering why we have seven fish in our live well. Uh, a lot of these main tournaments up here, if you've never fished them, they are um, seven fish limits, especially with teams of two. They, they don't normally do seven fish limits if it's just individual tournaments, like, like you know, if it's just you fishing. But if it's you and a buddy, generally they do seven fish limits. And I believe in some areas there's no limit on smallmouth, which is insane. That, that, that goes for Maine. There's because there's a north and south region. I think the north region, there's no limit for smallmouth. But, I'm an idiot, don't quote me on that. All right, it's cold, let's keep cranking. There they are. What happened? Oh, sorry. Big one. Ate the single swimmer. Yeah, yeah, good one. Ate the single swimmer. Eight pound test. <laughs> nice grab, dude. <laughs> That was sick. I thought he spit it. I was like, oh, oh nice grab. I don't know if he's gonna help us yeah, too, too much, but that one ate it instantly, dude. There we have it. I believe this is gonna be another call for us. Solid three pounder. That one not on the blooper. That was on a little tiny, basically a crappie swim bait. The, these are these are fish that are hovered over smelt right now, so therefore we're throwing tiny stuff. Big smallies, little baits. Some a little different opposed to a blooper bass. We'll take them. Uh, okay, this one's probably gonna die. Should I just, no, no, that one, yeah, this one's not looking good. Should I call this one that's not looking good, Connor? One way to get these fish back to health, because sometimes they won't do good in your live well, is to put a little bit of um, catch and release on there, and then also put some ice in there, and just kind of make sure that the fish are fine. This water is 78 degrees. For Texas, that's not that warm, but for Maine, that's very warm, and these are, these are cold water small. Like, they, they're coming out of like 20 feet of water, so it's good to make sure that they're doing good. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this. And that's some meat for sure. I would yoss. That, that's the small one. Yoss him. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah. The fish that's not looking good in the well. And uh, I mean, it's just because they're so cold. And we cold them. So let's keep going. I'm gonna put some more ice in there, you think? Yeah, I just thought. Two nice ones. Golly, come on. Man, I think that lack of chop really, uh, that chop was helping us. It's a good one. It's a good one. Got him. Got him. Good one. Good one. Giant. 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 Dude, this is insane. Oh my gosh, it's a good one. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, and then that. Let's go. That's a good one. We'll take that all day. Popper baby. All day. Popper baby. 
Yeah. My call tags. You have call tags or no? No, I just brought my scale. My call tags are in my room. 3-1. Okay, damn. Okay, so that one's gone. This is the smallest you one. You that dead one? It's 3-1, uh, I'm pretty sure. We go away in real quick, though. So throw the dead one out. So 306 minus 0.25 is, yeah, this one. So keep the live one? Yeah, I think. Uh, I, you just spoke three, Spanish to me. I'm so bad with that. 3.06 minus a quarter of a pound. So it'd be like 2.75. Okay. And this one's 2.84. Okay, so keep, so throw this guy yeah, out. The dead one's gone. Yeah, so normally in tournaments you can't call dead fish, but in Maine you can, and this is unfortunate. But I am trying my best to keep these fish alive, and sometimes this does happen. He won't go to waste, we'll put him back in the water and uh, he'll be part of the ecosystem. Crawfish or, I don't know, something will eat him. But thanks for playing, I guess. Bye. You're on. Yeah. Got him. Good one? Good one. Oh, Oh, shit. Talk to me. Oh, that might go, that might. No. No? Try, just check. Because it might be, what, we have a 2.8 in there? Yeah. Okay. Could be two nine. That was sick. Oh, <laughs> Dude, the back to back. Back to freaking back. Not gonna help the uh, cause, but still an epic moment. Got him. Big one. Big one. Big one. Net me. Net me, cuz. Big one. 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 Dude, I know. Big one. Hit it right at the boat. Big one. Get in there. Four pounder. <laughs> well, not quite. Probably high three, but it's a good fish. We'll take him. And that's a call. Let's go, baby. Here, just take my rod and catch these fish. You, 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 you got this, dude. You got this. Give us a five pounder. I don't know if we're gonna win, but dude, we're putting on a performance. Much better than last year. Let's go, baby! This dead one's like three pounds. I'm gonna call him. We just made our last call. We've got a couple minutes left. That was an absolute buzzer beater catch. We got all five alive. We have all seven alive, I should say. And uh, we got some squirmy brown meat in there. Damn, dude. Never thought I'd say that out loud. Anyway, let's keep cranking. Final moments of the derb. Feeling pretty good. We got, uh, I think, all three pounders now. Seven three pounders, which is a pretty hefty limit. I don't know if we got a dub worthy bag, but. We fought valiantly today. I mean, for the first two hours, two and a half hours, we didn't have a single keeper. So we're doing all right. I, uh, I think we can probably call one more time here. Honestly, we're in an area where there's tons of smelt and uh, I'm just gonna tie a little swim bait on and see if maybe that will do the trick. <sighs> it's been a day though. Good one! Keep him down, cuz. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Come on, Connor. Come on, Connor. Just put him on spot lock. You're good. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Really big. Oh yeah, nice one, man. <laughs> Good job, dude. There's more out there to be honest. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep going. That's is that close to four? It's damn close, man. Dude, these are some studs. These are some studs. Buzzer beater bass. Let's go. I hope you guys feel the hype we're feeling right now. It is absolutely insane. It is 238 right now. We gotta probably go in like 10 minutes, but we're on a school of giants in 26 feet of water. Here, let me drop. Let me drop the net. Was that better? Think you wanted that? Oh, yes, sir! Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! And we ain't done yet, we got like 10 minutes. Oh, um, man. I don't know. We can just weigh an eight. That one. Hold it. Oh, this one's heavier for sure, I think. I know, it's close. This is the dilemma every freaking year is this one, I think figuring out. Like... This is 315. Let's measure this one real quick. This one's gone. What this is, is 350. This is 350. That's 33. 348. 348. This one's gone. Right? Yeah. Last call of the day. Bye bye, smallmouth. I think we should just dip. We freaking. Yeah, let's dip. You want to? I mean. What time is it? 42. We got like five minutes, maybe. Five minutes. Five minutes. And I'll call ass. How far are we? Not far? Six or far? Six minutes. Ah! Okay. Two minutes. We're out here. Let's go! We're leaving fish, but we don't have time, so it is what it is. <laughs> How are you doing, big chunky? I go get fishy on baby. I go get fishy on baby. <laughs>
she said, I want to get on the boat. Shout out to the family for coming through on the way. And this is the second way, and they came in. I kind of fished the tournament, what well, was like a month ago. Didn't film it. Two weekends ago. Two weekends ago. I didn't film it, but we won. So that was cool. And Kaylee and Milo both showed up. Got a good support team, at the very least. Did you get any big smallmouth while I was going? <laughs> she said, your boat's floating away, dude. Said, hey, man, your boat's floating away. Yeah. Time for the weigh-in. Let's weigh our, our sack of fish. All alive. Seven alive, baby. No, I, it was just attached. Good fish. Look at that meat. Ooh. There's four. I think there's nine more in here. Popper in 30 feet of water. They would not eat anything. They're they're eating mayflies, I think. Anything else? Drop. What's that? Oh yeah, dude, it's way cooler than like throwing drop shot at live scope fish, you know? I feel like we got a good sack. I don't know if we're in contention for first, but uh, like I keep saying, all live fish, we came in on time, we're improving, and uh, we got a good sack. This is definitely the biggest sack that Connor and I have ever had at this derby. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. This is a really, really cool event. Fishy. 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 All right. Start pulling them out. Yep. A couple small threes. Need to be good. Last one. Back in she goes. You have to hand them the slip over. Uh, yes. We'll take it, man. Oh, that's pretty good. We'll take it. It's crazy moving on one other year. Cool. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, let's go dump them back. Good job, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Deep, deep. Yeah. Oh, we're going to hold our fish up, send them back. Connor, 24 pounds. Best year I've had out here. Not first place, but good job. Ready? Yep. All right, we are sending our smallies back, making sure they revive. They've had a long day of biting our poppers, eating our swim baits. Wow, this is like a juggling match right now. I've got so many fish in my hands. This one, that middle one's, that middle one might be good. This left one's trying. Just this guy, this bronzy. There he goes. See you later, bud. We're getting our very last fish. To revive. It's so important that these guys live. To be honest, seven fish limit, in my opinion, is not the way to go, but it is just the way the event is. One also interesting thing um, that you guys should be aware of is that the state of Maine is trying to ban all catch and release tournaments in the northern uh, region, and uh, they want to basically turn it into a kill only tournament. So, in other words, today, in theory, if that law gets passed, if that bill gets passed, then Every single fish caught today, which would have been close to probably 70 fish, 80 fish would all die. Anywhere between, you know, one pound to five pounds. So I'll leave a link down below as to where you guys can help. There's a petition. Uh, it's very important that, you know, these fish live and we put them through a lot of stress and you want to take the time to make sure they revive and go back down there and we can catch them next year. Catch and release, it works, it's proven. And uh, there has been so many times where I've literally caught a fish multiple years in a row because, uh, you know, you just try your best in handling them. Let's see if this guy can make it and we'll be on our way. See you later, buddy. Fifth place, baby. We did it. We finally got into the money. I can't believe it. Here I am holding my, uh, my envelope soaked in cheeseburger grease. Uh, and, and then here is, uh, well, it was $180, but of course, Connor and I split it. So. I'm $90 richer, which by the way, it's probably what I spent on gas, food, ice, baits. You get the gist. Regardless, this was an amazing and fun experience. We got to catch fish in probably one of the coolest and most unique ways ever. Aside from us getting fifth and getting a little bit of change and also getting to hang out with my buddy Connor, it was fun to just catch him 
on a popper in 30 feet of water. I don't know how well I, I did a touching base on what we're using, but this is it. This right here is what got it done. Yes, we did catch, I think, two of our keepers on a little tiny swimmer, but we would have not figured out these bass and what kind of mood they're in without the tiny popper. It was windy, it was cloudy, it was choppy, it was hot, the fish were in freaking 35 feet away. I think the deepest fish I caught on the popper was suspended in 40 feet. It's craziness. But this is the setup. It's a little seven foot, actually this is a 610, uh, medium light action finesse rod. We had this, we had the six pound mono on there, so it floats and it's a little more translucent rather than going straight braid. I had to bump it up to eight because I kept breaking off. But yeah, there we have it. We finally did it. The Scudic Saga in a way comes to a close. We may fish next year, we may not. I don't know, I'm pretty content with fifth. I'd like to get first, but the competition was, was for real. I mean, Tyler Williams and Opens Pro was fishing this one, so it's like, what the hell am I doing at this derby? I'm, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. We held our own though. Shout out to Connor, shout out to Caleb for making it happen, and shout out to the folks for putting on the Scudic Smallmouth Charity Derby. It's for a really good cause, and yeah, I love fishing them. Hopefully you guys watching them. Thanks for viewing, we'll catch you on the next one. As always, wieners, keep fishing, never stop.